Okay, so I was at Tech Field Day a couple of weeks ago. Um, one of the demonstrations that I saw, the live demos that we got was from a company called Riverbed. Now they do an SD-WAN technology that was, well, you know, when you see the demo, sometimes it's just that thing. So what I've done in this video is just cut out the bit where they added a firewall rule to the demo. And um, what I wanted to do is show you this. Okay. So, so Brad is gonna help me get my life in order. No more 2 a.m. change controls. So let's kind of show you what our SD-WAN is made up of. First. So what they're going to do now is they're going to create a new site ready for deployment. What I mean by that is you can actually create the site, give it the IP addresses, give it the details that it needs and so when the unit powers up, connects to the internet, it will actually log into your system and then self-configure. This is really about rolling out a WAN at the fastest possible speed. One of the most hardest parts or the most complex parts of owning a WAN, getting a new site deployed because you have to do all this pre-configuration and somebody gets out to site and the config's not up to spec. This takes all that away. All right. Let's add one more Boston real quick. So now we're adding Boston. Again, I need a placeholder so I can start connecting the dots once the hardware boots up. And that's what we're doing. There's Boston. Now, those of you on the internet with large sites are thinking, this point and click, who wants to do this? I mean, that was pretty quick. You got to give me that. But if I have to add 50 sites, do I want to be add type at, forget that. So at the end, we're going to show you how using REST API, mm -hmm. you can suck all of that in and build it in mass. And we're going to show that to you. So okay. Here we go. There's a bit of a setup. And then what they do is they create a group called HR. And then what they do is then deploy that access list across the SD-WAN. Now, this is all done in a graphical console. And this, I think, is one of the keys to SD-WAN. It's what you want to be looking at. And, and a server, it's a old application, homegrown. I'm sure there are thousands of applications that are running. So we're going to add a server definition called HR. And all we're gonna do is just create a name, give it a description, HR, and we're going to add as a host name. We could use IP addresses if we want, but why? All we're gonna do is hr.acme.com, okay? IP address is dead, we don't really care. But we could. That's it, we've now identified an entity called HR. So how are we going to mix that with our zone and our firewall rule to do this? So let's go to the rules, and I'm gonna create a security blanket from the data center, from the cloud, that extends the branch at the click of a button. I'm increasing our security posture, click of a button, to all sites. Why not? It doesn't take me any second to do. So at the, at the very top, we're going to say HR users and Active Directory group. We suck them all in from Active Directory. We allow to where? Selected application, which one? HR, the one that we just created. All right, so I'm gonna allow HR and submit, and that's it. And all I have to do is I can go back and create a do not allow for everybody else. And I protected my HR app at the click of a button. Does that mean? So for us, change control on, back out plan off, and that's it. Okay, so what you've just seen is a very quick demo of the Riverbed SD-WAN solution. The graphical console, not just configuring a router, but configuring the entire WAN. So instead of actually going around and, you know, fingering the network until it's actually configured and endlessly thinking about is this IP address going to this one, the whole SD-WAN orchestration engine takes care of it. Of course, I was a guest at Network Field Day. I've been a regular attendee, but I'm not required to say anything about this. But I wanted to bring this video to you just to demonstrate a hint of what SD-WAN is if you haven't seen it before. I'm Greg Farrow from the Packet Pushers. Thanks for watching me on YouTube. Uh, if you like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See you soon.